Hi guys, good morning. And for today's lesson, we will be discussing about the painting. When we say painting, it refers to the process of applying color on a flat surface. Forms can be created using a wide variety of materials such as watercolor, acrylic, ink, oil, pastel, and charcoal. Surfaces for painting include wood, canvas, cardboard, and paper. Painting is also considered as two-dimensional, meaning it only has height and width. We have different forms of painting. First, we have the easel painting. It is perhaps the most common form of painting. As the name implies, it involves applying color to a board or canvas that is fixed on an upright support called an easel. These are meant to be framed and hanged on the wall after creating them. Next, we have murals. A mural is described as a huge wall-sized painting. During 1980s, some artists believed that the mural should be used to impart messages to increase social awareness, especially to issues at that time. However, a new form of mural, a portable mural, was developed in order to prevent the mural from being erased from the wall. The, the portable mural was created by using bold strokes in applying bright colors on pieces of cheesecloth or what we call canvas. So nowadays, these are created by younger artists through outreach programs carried out by organizations. So just like during the 1980s, these murals still impart message or messages on the nationalism and social awareness. Another form of painting is we have talon painting. A talon is described as a backdrop or background for the stage. So these backdrops are usually for comedy, sarsuela, and sinacolo. These are popular forms of theater in the country. So later, even though the popularity of the sarsuela decreased and the talon is still used, in presentations during carnivals, fiestas, and also religious celebration. So the talent was later reduced as a backdrop in a photography studio. Next we have Gypney and Kalesa painting. The Kalesa is typically painted using one color. The borders of the kalesa are decorated with geometric patterns, repetitive patterns, or thin lines. Gypney painting evolved from kalesa painting. In a typical gypney, a logo, number, or painting is covered near the driver's seat, as well as near the seats adjacent to it. Typical subject matter of gypney painting ranges from landscapes to scenes from the comic books. Another form is we have collage. This refers to form of painting that involves combined images in a single artwork. So this essential cutting and pasting materials such as paper, fabric, tin foil, and other relatively flat materials into a board or a canvas. Let's proceed with the themes of painting. We have the genre painting. Genre painting portrays people in daily activities. Subjects include planting and harvesting rice, a young woman singing in front of guests, barong barong, vendors, and fiestas. During the contemporary period, genre painting took several directions. One of these new approaches is folk genre. It focuses mainly on the everyday activities of the folk. 
Another approach is using the style of Gibbism and depicting folk or urban subjects. On the other hand, Folk Naive is another style wherein it uses a lot of color and, and spontaneity. This was inspired by children's art. Another is the historical painting. It depicts a scene from the past. It often has a lesson concerning the national values. Let's proceed with interiors. An interior refers to painting of the space inside a part of a house or a building. So this usually reveals the social class of the family living in that particular house as well as the traits of the people living in it. Next we have landscapes. These paintings portray natural scenery or urban scenes. Mixed media is now used in creating landscape paintings. Closely related to landscapes are seascapes which focus on large bodies of water, particularly the ocean or the sea. Let's have the portraits. This refers to a painting portraying one or more specific individuals. So this usually portrays the physical characteristics of subject and seeks to show an understanding of that person's character. Next we have nudes. These are paintings that portray the unclothed human figure. Nowadays, a wide variety of materials and styles can be used in painting nudes. Nude painting sessions are conducted in galleries. Next, we have religious painting. Common subjects of religious painting include a lone religious image, lives of the saints, and scenes based from scriptures like the nativity scene and the stations of the cross. Lastly, we have still life. Still life refers to a painting that depicts natural or man-made objects that form a composition in a natural setting. There are still modern artists who did still life paintings. We have we have Ankyu Cook, Federico Aguilar Alcuaz, and Manuel Baldemar. Each artist uses his own style in portraying still life. A lot of styles can be used by artists in painting. By artists in painting, ranging from Baroque and Rococo to Impressionism, Expressionism, and Abstract. In the Philippines, popular styles during the contemporary period include Neo Realism, which involves creating representational figures that also look abstract. And also, we have Hyperrealism or Magic Realism or magic realism. This is where the subject is painted in a highly realistic way that it resembles a photograph. And, and last, we have social realism. It entails creating paintings that depict socio-economic and political problems.